welcome back if you're joining us from another video if you're joining us for the first time hello well we are doing our intro with our customs today because my daughter really really wanted to and so i was open to the idea because i think it's very cute and i love watching the kids videos with the little kids who do the um and the big kids too who do the lps videos i think it's absolutely adorable so this is her custom pony and this is my custom littlest pet shop now we are opening today two of the new littlest pet shops from pets These in the ones. city and two of the other ones and two of the older edition um littlest pet shops which will be interesting to look at because um we can have a look at the different paint styles. I actually brought the two old ones because one was very cheap <laughs> and the other one was, was really exciting. Cool. So let's get into them. Now, which one would you like to open first, sweetheart? Mm. And I, w I might do old to new. Okay, so we'll open this little one first. So this one here is actually a double up for us, but this is the one I brought because... I actually it's felt sorry for her. She was in the budget bin for $2. <laughs> her name is Bree Nibbleson. We already have her, but I thought, oh no, I, I feel so sorry for her in the budget bin because um, I don't know what to happens to toys that get thrown in the budget bin, but um, I wanted to bring her home and give her a good home and pass her into the donation box. Plus, I don't think we have that cheese. Because we brought Lost her... It. Oh, okay. So she's Brie Nibbleson, and she is a mouse, I'm assuming. Or a kangaroo sort of mousey looking thing. Nah, face. she's a mouse. And these are the other ones to collect. Oh, that's Corasoils! I like her. Yep, so there's um, artwork of old ones in the back. I like that owl too. So That's Feather's Underwood. Brie is coming with me, and she's either going to end up in a donation box, or if we don't have her, be Custom. in... Custom. Oh, no, she's so pretty. I don't mind customising ones that are destroyed but or ruined in some way, but we don't want to destroy her when she looks so pretty, do you think? Mm. Ah, she's stuck in the package with per things everywhere. Uh, sweetheart, there's scissors behind you. Can you get me the scissors? Sure. Bear with us yeah, a second while, <laughs> while mum has a... I can't... don't have the power in my wrist to get her out. Okay, there we go. So she is really, really cute. And there's a piece of white paper just behind Sweetheart so I can show them up close. Now she, of course, is from a scannable so she can be played with in the application game. And she unfortunately came from that series that has a stupid string through the neck. I don't understand the purpose of it. It is just silly. Um, so here she is i think she looks so cute she looks so ecstatic and and ready to go and there she is she's a scannable so she's very very happy adorable and she comes with this piece of cheese now to me she doesn't really have mouse ears she almost has like a kangaroo mouse ears but um that's okay where shall we put the cheese on her tail i think that this one's better painted than our one all right, well, we can put the other one in the donation bin and we can keep this little angel because she is very well painted and she's very excited looking and I'll I quite like it. I'll just check that because I really don't know. So um, I have nothing to sit her on. I came completely unprepared. <laughs> I know, just clean her again. Now, this one I grabbed because she was actually hidden behind some My Little Ponies and she was the only one I've ever seen of her. Now... She is called Ned, or he is called Ned Nowell. It's a he. And the little octopus that comes with her, or him, is Oceana Kelp. Now, I'm assuming it's a boy because it's blue and it's called Ned. I've never seen this one in a shop before. Other people might have, but uh, when I saw it and I saw that it was hidden, I thought, oh, I want this one. So it's one of the old pets, and here's some of the other ones i love this grumpy cat i tend to like toys that are happy and bright looking but <laughs> this that, one is is just, kind of, that one is it looks like cute. it's trying to act yeah. it does not look amused so let's no. open up this one and have a look because you see i thought this ned narwhale and digital on the app but he doesn't look like this all right well let's bring out the look at oh oh, oh tied in let's get you out there we go my friend 
So we'll look at the little octopus first, which was that called Sweetheart. What was the name of it? Oh dear. Oceana Cow. Oh, thank you, sweetie. You're good with the names. Like Mummy always forgets. All right, so we'll get her in focus. She looks Check adorable. Check it out. She is so cute. I would like to see her in big littlest pet form. Just look at the eyes. And it's got this cheeky little smile that is just... It's, got, it's almost got puppy eyes. And it's got little freckles underneath its and eyes. It's it adorable. And its expression on its nose and its kind it's of not mouth. Not work on the back. But it is absolutely adorable. The puppy eyes definitely go with the expression. Loving it. Love, 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 love it. Now... As I said, I've never seen this guy in the shops before. So when I saw him, I was like, wow, that's amazing looking, especially and the fact that he was hidden. <laughs> and, and because he's one of these Atlantic pets that lie on their belly, he does not have a tie in So him. he is scannable. There is his scannable code. It kind of looks like his birthmark. Absolutely gorgeous. It looks like a unicorn. Look at those eyes. It is a unicorn whale. And they are, of course, um, real creatures for anyone who is wondering. There are whale, whale, are they whales or dolphins? I can't remember. But um, whales or dolphins with unicorn horns on their head. I think he's one of my favorite littlest pet shops maybe just because they, he's so cute. Maybe now. they can cast magic on top of it. Now he has... A little water spout. A little water spout that came with him. Now it looks like you can stick the water spout in the top of his head here and it moves around a bit. Oh, I and think you can stick that on. Yes, and then you stick the little octopus. This is so cute. I think this is the cutest littlest pet shop we've opened so far. Look Check it that. out. That is adorable. <laughs> so they're obviously best friends and having a lot of fun. I think that is absolutely adorable. My favorite littlest pet shop. Oh, and it's going to fall over because I don't have a... Now it came with these little accessories, a little orange star and hey. a... Ah! Oh, I threw it away and a um, little yellow seashell. So I'm going to leave that up to my daughter to decorate it. Okay. So that has to be my favorite littlest pet shop that I've seen. Let's get into the new pets. Uh, any, mini money, mo, catch a doggy by the toe. It's a tiger. If he woofs, let him go. Any, mini, miny, mo. Okay, we're doing the fawns. The cat's for last. All right, so this is one of the new littlest pet shops, which... Uh, easy to recognize they have the numbers of the pets on the side here which I think is fantastic um, if you look at the other previous case they don't have the numbers on the side so it's easy for someone like me who gets a little confused I'm older I get a little confused and I sometimes forget what she has and what she doesn't have especially when I'm looking at five different types of deer <laughs> so it, you can also tell that they're the new ones because they're pets in the city on the side here now, this is a Daphne Deer Heart and Fauna Deer Heart. So it's almost like a mummy and daughter. I like that they're trying to and bring the family thing into the into the equation or into the stories. Um, another thing about the new pets is they come with these speech bubbles which have little pieces you can stick in them like the you can stick those little things on them or in these speech bubbles and they have little stickers to express what they're saying i think those are a little weird i'm not gonna lie i'm not a big fan of the speech bubble thing if the children are going to use them to talk with they're going to use their hands and their mouths <laughs> to speak they don't need to have little emotions but i guess if they're photographing scenes or something that would come in handy I just think it's a little weird. I don't think you'll ever use them, have you, sweetheart? No. Nah. Now, um, of course, each one comes with a the checklist. checklist. I want to take a look for you there. Oh, honey, don't go on camera, please. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> She's just got some of her school uniform on. <laughs> All right, so we are going to cut in here. And get that loose. So it's got a little thing. Now they've removed these silly strings that were through the necks on the previous ones because I, I just didn't see the point in them. I really didn't and they're annoying. Now this one I can see a problem to get in. Her legs are encased in the plastic and her ears are encased in the plastic. So if you try and push the top part out, the ears will get stuck. If you try and push the bottom part out, the legs will get stuck. So 
I am going to release her via scissors. <laughs> little hard for little kids to get out. So, you know, if you're having problems, kids, go, if you're old enough to use scissors, go get the scissors or please ask your mummy because um, you don't want to fight with plastic. It will cut you. All right, so here's the stickers and to get to the speech bubble, you go to the back and pop it out. So let's look at the speech bubble ones first. There is a pink flower and a purple ladybird. Uh, looks like on the stickers, it looks like the mummy is blowing a kiss and there is a net to suggest they're catching bugs, which I guess would go along with the ladybird and the little one's got a happy face. That is adorable. <laughs> yeah, so they are cute stickers. So let us have a look at the mother here, Daphne, Daphne, Daphne. Dear heart, now she is licking her lips, so I don't know if she wants to eat the bugs, but she's licking her lips. Uh, one thing I'll say about these ones is they're actually better painted than the last ones. The last ones we had a lot of, um, uh, they were so good, and the plastic feels different, which is a big bonus for these. Um, they feel stronger. I don't know if they're exactly the same as the previous ones, but to me, the new ones feel different. All right, so... She has a few holes over her where you can put little things on. Um, she is, of course, a scannable. There is the scannable code. Look at that lip. <laughs> she is very, very cute. So I'm going to put her here, and let's have a look at the little one, who is Fauna. Now, she is a pink deer, and I'm always loving these little ones more than the big ones sometimes. A little pink deer with little white spots on her head absolutely gorgeous so I'm going to have a play I'm going to stick this flower in mummy's no I'm not going to stick it in mummy's here I'm going to stick it on fauna because oh that is adorable <laughs> that looks really cute up there even my daughter agrees so that's good my daughter's approval was wonderful because I love my girl <laughs> So there we go, and of course these are for her collection. Now I'm going to play around. I'm going to do the mummy is blowing a kiss to her daughter, who is very happy to receive it. And then we'll put a little ladybug on top because we can. Ha! There we go. And stick that in her head, and here we go. I'll get it in focus for everyone. Sorry if it gets out of focus. Sometimes when I'm do doing things, the camera gets out. So that is the basic idea of it. it. If you're creating a play scene, you've now got a way of expressing their emotions and what they're saying. But in real time play for children, I think they're a little lost. All right. Really, really cute. I am now going to open up the next one, which is here, number 35 and number 36. It looks like leopards of some sort. Oh, cougar. Oh, they're cougars. P uh, Pets in the City, which is the new series. Um, and what? Not much on the back, so let's and open up. Which one is she from? Pets in the Park. So they are divided into four sections, aren't they, darling? What are the four sections of play? So, checklist. The one, the one with the fire. Hydrant is no, uh, hanging out in the main place. Hanging out in the main place, yep. The one with a giant wave is sunny day in the, in the seal beep. Do you want me to read it, darling? No. Nah. Okay, alright. So, alright. The one with the diamond is getting ready in diamond hills. And the one with the giant leaf is playing in acorn park. Alright, so those are the four sections of the new series. And this one was in playing in the acorn park. And basically the theme is getting out and about, which is um, really cool because uh, kids want to get out and about. They want to be active. I so, like the get, get out and about packs with like a canoe and stuff. So here we are. The mother is, I'm assuming it's the mother, Sunny Cougar. So she is a light purple with dark purple. I like her light purple eyes that go with her skin. So she is very cute. And purple. she, of course, is a scannable. I like her long tail. 
She does have a long tail. I think she's actually the same mold as Mimi Reeves. Now she, yeah, that's what I was thinking. She looks a lot like Mimi Reeves from the previous season, who came, of course came with sunglasses. She looks like she's slightly distracted by something, as if she's wandering along talking and then suddenly looked out to see something else. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to see if she actually stands, because we had a lot of problems standing Mimi Reeves. She actually stands. Yay! She looks like she's <laughs> running along and leaning slightly. And so this is Cubby Cougar, which tends to suggest to me that he might be a boy with a name like Cubby. He is very, very cute. Like I said, I'm, I'm loving these little ones. Um, he's got big pink eyes and some designs on him. He looks like a leopard almost. Yeah, he does. So he's cute. So let's have a look here. He they, doesn't have much expression to him then. So. They come with a rainbow and a sun. Now, I did not look at their stickers. All right, so it looks like they want to have a day out in the park. There's mummy watching on and smiling. There is a kite flying and a little boy with his glasses, sunglasses on to protect him from the sun. Is that in, yep, sun and rainbow. So it looks like they're having a day out and they're having a good time so I'm not going to stick the mummy cat on this one I'm just going to stick the little boy and he wants to see a rainbow outside so let's put that on the little guy he looks adorable so he's saying mum I want to go outside and play and she's saying sure honey right after you wash your claws <laughs> so let's have a look let's get them all set up here oh and see what we got today for our collection. Ah, this little guy doesn't want to stand up. Oh dear. He's a bit too top heavy with the speech bubble, oh. I think. Oh! <laughs> all no, right. I did knock, knock him. So we'll get them all set up and we'll do a scan of them. And I'm still thinking that Ned Nowell is the cutest, littlest pet shop I've ever seen because I'm just loving him. I'm loving the whole idea behind him. So here we have the Deerheart family. Having a good day out catching bugs. The cougar, the cougar family. family. Wanting to go play in the sun and fly a kite. We're having the previous Normal. season Brie having Nelson. a nibble on some <laughs> cheese. <laughs> and this guy here who is the creme de la creme. I think he is amazing. I have never seen him before and I just think he is gorgeous he might be common for all i know but um i've never seen him and hey i don't know how anyone cannot think that is adorable that is absolutely adorable isn't yeah. it all right if you like littlest pet shops um please give this video a big thumbs up we will keep posting the new ones for our collection we must have 300 400 littlest pets now <laughs> yeah our box is full of the broom we, we've got a lot of them um we'll keep posting the videos please subscribe if you love toys we love to open toys here we love to share we love to watch all of our, our subscribers videos as well we spend a lot of time um checking them out we especially love um little fan made videos with littlest pets i've watched mo the majority of them that people have made and they're adorable comment on which one you like best that we got today i'd love to know which one you love and everybody knows which one i love thanks very much for watching bye